everyone and welcome back to the Hitchhiking Ghost Podcast. On this episode, we will be going over my picks for the top five shows at Walt Disney World. I'm going to put two honorable mentions. Because I think people will get upset with me if they don't hear these two. So, first honorable mention, we will be discussing the Enchanted Tiki Room. This is a classic. The birds were actually in the in the few episodes with Walt during his time on television promoting the theme park. It used to be the concept of it, the old concept of it used to be a restaurant, which I think that would be a little bit better than just a regular show like it is now, but I think it's entertaining. I hear a clicking sound through the entire show, and if you have never heard the clicking sound, and now that I said it, you're going to be listening out for it, I am very sorry for that, because now you will never be able to unhear it. There's a nasty clicking sound, and it happens through the entire show. So, it doesn't make the top five, and I'm sure a lot of people will be a little bit upset over it, so... I am sorry. The next honorable mention, I'm sure I'll get some crap for this too, uh, it's the Country Bear Jamboree. I love this show, I really do. I think it's classic, I think it's pretty pretty darn funny. Um, But these animatronics are what nightmares are fueled by. They look, oh my gosh, they look they look crazy some of them look worse than others but they're definitely some old animatronics and they definitely need some love they definitely need an update this is just my opinion though so please don't get too mad at me and this show though has a little bit a few risque jokes which I appreciate so it's definitely You know, it's knocking on the door to get in my top five, but not quite there yet. Because those animatronics, oh my gosh. They're terrifying. Alright, at number five, we have It's Tough to Be a Bug. Now this show has some cool effects, and it also has some cool animatronics like Hopper and Flick. They don't look terrifying like the bears do in the Country Bear Jamboree. So I do appreciate that. I love all the effects that this um, that this show exhibits. I really love when the hornet like stabs you in the chest. I think that's a pretty cool effect. It's just air, but it just feels crazy. I remember whenever I was younger and I got hit with that, I was sitting on my mother's lap. So she didn't feel it, but I felt it. And it just it was a critical hit. It just got me real good. And my mom, like, freaked out. She didn't know what was going on. Because, you know, I I took the bullet for her. But then, at the end of the show, whenever the beetles and bugs crawl underneath your butt, she took the bullet from me, so she repaid the favor. The show is located inside the Tree of Life, so I really can't name a better location for a show than that is awesome you get really up close and you get to see all the different carvings and there it's just some absurd number with how of how many carvings are in that tree and how detailed it is it is an absolutely wonderful icon for that theme park and the show is great in it too so i won't get on every time i'm in the animal kingdom but busy day hot day There's not many better things to do than watch It's Tough to Be a Bug in the Tree of Life. Good show. Definitely go see it. In the number four spot, we have Finding Nemo the Musical. I love the movie, and I love the puppetry involved in the show, and I like how they made all of of these uh, original songs in in the show that they have. It's a 35 minute show and in, on a hot day it's it's a really great entertaining show to just relax 
in a great theater. So definitely well deserving of a spot. All the people are very talented on the show. So definitely go watch it if you are in the Animal Kingdom because there's show times all throughout the day and it's a great time. Number three is the Festival of the Lion King. I love the Lion King, the movie, and I love the show that corresponds with it. The Hakuna Matata section with all the monkeys jumping around, the tung- tumble monkeys, I don't know their name, but they do all those trapeze acts and it's like really, really entertaining. There's a lot of audience participation, but not like single you out type of audience participation. It's just like as a group, which is always pretty fun. Um, the new theater, I, I prefer the old theater, if I'm being honest, but I do like the new theater as well. It's also out of the treacherous heat of the animal kingdom, so definitely stop by the next time that you walk into Africa and you see that the show time's coming up, definitely go see it. It's a really an entertaining show. At number two, we will be going to the Magic Kingdom, and it is the Carousel of Progress. It is the true definition of a classic. It is so entertaining. It has jokes. It has a great song written by the um, Sherman Brothers. I think they did write it. It's a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. All right, I'm sorry. But yeah, it is a great show. Really funny show. And it's about, you know, all the progress that we have made. Hence, the Carousel of Progress is the title. But yeah, it's a short wait in Tomorrowland. So on a hot day, busy day, as usual, um, you just pop into there. It's a seed, short wait. It's a really entertaining show. And people really don't enjoy the end scene that much. They're always like a little bit confused about which time period they're trying to go for. But that's understandable. If they were to update it, they would have to update it again in every 10 years or so to try and keep up with the times, which is just impossible. So. I understand it, and I actually fi- kind of think it's funny. I always get a good chuckle whenever all of the, whenever you talk into the oven and you're playing a virtual reality game, like we already have that, but whatever. It's pretty funny. I I always enjoy it. So yeah, the Carousel of Progress, Walt Disney was a part of it, and yeah. He loved progress. And at number one, the top spot, is the Hall of Presidents. I would say that I am a history nut. And this show has no political agenda. And every time I watch it, I just have a huge sense of patriotism. There's nothing better than watching this show and then walking out into Liberty Square and then going to Liberty Tree Tavern and eating a nice burger. Or Thanksgiving, whichever one. They have, both are pretty good. Yeah, I really just appreciate that it has no agenda whatsoever. It's just a great refreshing, refresher course of history of our great history of this nation. It's awesome. I love the Civil War part whenever that screen widens all the way out and you just get just completely immersed in it. And then they go over all of the presidents of the United States. I do not know every single president of the United States. I'm going to be honest, but I don't think many people do. I hope not, because then I would feel bad about myself. But... It's a really, really entertaining show, and there's, I don't think there's many rides or shows that I would do over this in the Magic Kingdom. I know I would definitely ride the Haunted Mansion, 
but yeah, this show, I do it every single time I'm at the Magic Kingdom. 20 minutes out of my day, but it's worth it because you always get a nice little, you just feel patriotic after, so it's always nice to go there. And that will conclude my list. Let's go from the bottom to the top. Counting down from our two honorable mentions, I had the Enchanted Tiki Room with the clicking sound and the Country Bear Jamboree with the monster animatronics. At number five, we have It's Tough to Be a Bug. At number four, we have Finding Nemo the Musical. At number three, we have The Festival of the Lion King. At number two, we have At number two, we have the Carousel of Progress, and at our top spot, we have the Hall of Presidents. And if you need a refresher course of history, and you need a refresher course on how many presidents we have and what they were named, definitely go see this show. It is very entertaining, and you'll feel good about it. So thank you so much to you all for listening and I'll see you in the next video so bye everybody